controversy surrounding patrols at Johns Hopkins facilities. The Baltimore City Police Department is now facing criticism for deploying some of its officers to help with security near the hospital and university. Well, WJC is live on campus, and Rick Ritter breaks it all down for us. Rick? Well, Denise, there's no doubt about it. Here near the university and by the hospital, some of those surrounding areas have been plagued by violence at times. But with a surge in crime in other areas and a police department that is certainly understaffed, some city leaders say they are appalled that this deployment is still taking place. From the hospital to the university, top to bottom, Johns Hopkins is world renowned. But in a city constantly battling a surge in violent crime, even the Hopkins area isn't immune from the violence. For months, Baltimore City Police have deployed officers near Hopkins to help with the crime. But City Council President Jack Young issued a letter to Police Commissioner Gary Tuggle calling for it to end, saying the city can't afford to have officers pulled from a severely understaffed district to police solely the area located near a private institution. Councilman Brandon Scott says it should rely on where there's a spike in crime. We just want to be able to deploy our resources uh, as needed by the data. Leaving it up to the district commanders. When the data says they should be near Hopkins, they should be near Hopkins. When the data says they should be somewhere else, they should be somewhere else and not have their hands tied. Mayor Catherine Pugh says the officers are patrolling the area, not the campus itself, and points to all Hopkins has done to help revitalize parts of Charm City. Johns Hopkins is the number one employer in our city. It was Johns Hopkins University that helped to fuel development in the East Baltimore community. The practice began under former police commissioner Kevin Davis, tweeted out that Hopkins experiences unprecedented crime and quote, those who blocked Hopkins from starting its own police department now pulled this political stunt. A deployment that's now in the spotlight with many left wondering what's the next move. And Tuggle is expected to make a decision within the next week. Johns Hopkins, they've released a statement saying they've increased security on their own by 40% over the past few years, adding that officers are deployed to neighborhoods or city streets, not on their property. Reporting live tonight, I'm Rick Ritter for WJZ.